Uh, our friendly dietitian, Heidi Drink, uh, drags herself into the studio every couple of weeks. Um, always on the lookout. She always has an interesting topic to talk about. Heidi, good morning. Good morning, Andrew. Now, you may, we were talking about in that particular piece of music, it was Whoopi Goldberg in Sister Act. Yes, a movie which I love. Yeah, it probably um, sort of gave it a bit of a rebirth, didn't it? The yeah, soundtrack. Yeah, I think really gave a bit of a rebirth to that that gospel kind yeah, of sound in yeah. the early nineties. You yeah. were tapping along to that, huh? Love it. Recorded well before your time, no doubt. Of course, I'm only a spring chicken. You're only a spring chicken. Now, spring chickens. Do spring chickens have to worry about healthy bones? Everyone needs to worry about healthy bones. That's right. why we're here. Now you've brought some support in this week because normally. You know, you think I pick on you a little bit, so you've got a couple of offsiders. Uh, Steph and Jessica join us in the studio. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Good morning. So introduce your team, Heidi. Yeah, so uh, Steph and Jess are here with our dietetics department um, doing some of their final year placements. So they're on a community placement. They're final year dietetic students from the University of Sydney getting an idea of a bit of rural dietetics practice. And I love asking this question. Steph, well, why did you go into this field? Oh, that caught me off guard. No, um, I don't know. I just find how um, how food impacts people and their lives is just really interesting and obviously good health mm-hmm. is really important these days or every day. So, yeah, that's why I got into it. And Jess? Um, I've always been very passionate about nutrition. Mm-hmm. I... Um, I think the link between nutrition, like what Steph was saying, nutrition and disease is not being maybe recognised enough, so I really want to help promote that link. Yeah, and I've got to say this, Heidi, over the years, 99.9% of students you bring in are female. Does that mean the blokes are more having a beer and a burger? <laughs> it, it's fairly, I, I suppose, a bit of a representative sample of dietetics. It tends to be about 96% female, yeah. I would say. Um, in my graduating class, we had uh, three out of 40 men and they were all international students we didn't have any domestic um, male students Um, we have recently just had uh, two male students here on placement um, which was actually very rare the first time we've ever had an all male placement group so um, yeah so any guys out there looking for a uni degree that'll have you surrounded by women get into (laughs) dietetics well, is, is it well paid, is it, Steph, once you get through? Is it worth is it? Oh, you know? well, see, I guess next year once we get a job, hopefully if we get to get <laughs> one. But, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's more so, for me, I look at it as more of, like, what rewards I'll get out of it in terms of improving people's health and improving their mm. quality of life and things like that is probably, even though that's probably a cliche thing to say. Yeah. But, um, yeah. And Jess, so growing up, were you always, uh, you know, uh, watchful and what you ate and all that? Or were you just a typical teenager? You mm. saw food, eat food? I definitely did. I was always like trying the latest diet trend, I think, and I was always watching people around me do that as well. So whether it was my family or my friends, you notice how big a role that nutrition does play in their health and even like their social life and um, things like that. So it was all very interesting. But yeah, all my life Mm. I've been thinking about nutrition. So So when you arrive in in, uh, well, the regional centre or the outer suburbs of Sydney, wherever you go, and you go to the local shopping centre and Here's big uh, Trev with a shopping basket, and he's probably tipping the scales at 140, and he's got everything loaded in there. Do you sort of sit there going, well, Trev, you need to have a bit of a look here, son. You know, the ice cream, you know, the biscuits, the cakes. I bet mentally you guys go, oh, it's not good. Um, it... You'll be a little bit judgmental in your line of work, Well, you? actually, I think as a dietitian, they drill into you that you don't want to be judgmental, and you really don't. Um, because you don't know what's going on in people's lives um, and we really want to help people. We don't want to judge them. So it doesn't matter what they come, like where they come from, what they eat, what they do, we're just here to help. So. I think one of the most informative sessions I went to was a few years ago, Heidi, where you presented. It was the like a senior sits forum and there was a lot of senior citizens there. There's probably 100 people. And you actually went through like walking into a supermarket, the things you can actually buy that are good for you, that aren't cost the, cost the earth. And it really opened my eyes high. I went home and stacked up the old pantry and what you told them that day. Yeah, I think there's there's quite a lot of myths that go around about healthy eating. And one of the biggest ones is that healthy eating is really expensive compared to, you know, eating junk. Whereas if you look kilo for kilo, you know, buying apples and, you know, potatoes and all sorts of carrots and, and things like that... Um, are so, so cheap compared to buying, you know, roll-ups and lollies and chips and everything like yeah. that. You know, you can buy a, a box of water for $4 for 10 litres 
Um, whereas, you know, if you were to buy a soft drink for 10 litres, you're looking at, you know, 5 mm. 10 15 dollars So, um, you know, it's, it's a bit of a myth. So tell me this, uh, Steph and Jess, when, when you go through your class now is... Uh, sugar's become the enemy of the world. Is is that sort of uh, up there, is it? Are you going to bash that over the head with a baseball bat? Well, I think the thing with sugar is that you're displacing your other nutritional foods. So, like, this uh, coming up, we have Healthy Bones Week, and we do want to think about um, calcium-rich foods. And so calcium-rich foods are things like dairy and fish and um, nuts and things like that. And if we're eating lots of sugary foods and junk foods, then we're just not having enough room for those healthier foods. So Healthy Bone Action Week. Uh, mm -hmm. If you got a couple of people banged on the door today and said, right, a healthy bone, how are we going to get healthy bones? Well, we've come with three helpful tips today. Well, hang on, I'm going to write these down. <laughs> yeah. no, no, hang on, I'm probably too old to worry about it now. Is there an age limit you sort of get to and think, no, he's too no, old? No, definitely not. We're, and that's kind of what we're here to promote today is that it doesn't necessarily, you don't need to concentrate it. Well, it's all ages of life and, you know, mm -hmm. obviously when you're growing up, you want to get good bone mass and in your kind of early teenage lives to your late 20s, that's when it probably, like you gain your bone mass and where you reach your maximum. But after that, Obviously, it can decline, but we want to um, decrease the rate that it declines. So All right, so three tips. Yes, we well, have. You, you give us the first one, Steph. Number one is um, a good intake of calcium. Mm -hmm. um, and so, like Jess said before, you can get that mostly from your dairy foods, but there are other foods such as like uh, canned fish, like salmon where you eat the bones as well. You can get it from some leafy greens, things like tofu, um, sesame seeds, which we just worked out beforehand, you can sprinkle a tablespoon of that on your salads or something like that and get a good amount of calcium from there. All right. Yeah. So calcium, number one. Yes. Number two, Jess, what do we got? Weight-bearing exercise. Mm -hmm. So just simple things like walking, yoga, playing netball, things like that. It helps us socialize, even get out in the sun. And it's really important to build the strength of our bones and maintain our muscle mass and things like that. So we want to aim for sort of shorter bursts of high impact exercise as opposed to the really long sort of duration exercise. Mm -hmm. So that's what our bones like the best. All right. So you're not saying you've got to go to the gym and start putting 150 kilos above your head. Definitely not. Do what's safe and relative to your own fitness. Yeah. Um, but also, yeah, you don't need to aim for an hour a day or two hours a day and slog away. Just do something you enjoy and aim for about, I would say, 30 minutes a day. Okay. What's number three, Heidi? Number three um, is vitamin D. Mm. So, of course, we, we have calcium, um, which is you know a big building block for our bones, is what mm -hmm. our bones are made of. Um, but for our body to absorb calcium and use it and get it into our body to make bones out of it, we need to have vitamin D. And vitamin D, our biggest source of vitamin D, is our body can make it itself because it's very smart, but it needs some UV rays, so it needs a bit of sunlight. So we're not saying go and lie in the sun for four hours in yeah. the middle of the day because we would be very wary of uh, skin cancer. Um, but just in Broken Hill especially in summertime, five or ten minutes early in the morning, later in the afternoon outside those really high sun times, or in winter maybe a little bit longer, 20 to 30 minutes. Um, but just getting that bit of sun exposure in the day. Um, and it doesn't have to be a lot, just your face and hands, you know. So if you've still got pants and a shirt and a hat on, that's fine. So you don't have to do a nudie run? <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. All right, okay. Definitely Thank not. God for that. <laughs> All right, now I, I want to ask this question. I don't think I've asked this one before. If you have a big weekend, like you will this weekend because you've got your past players' footy function on, is it worth on a Monday where people go through, oh, I'll go through my detox program, I'll just drink water and eat fruit and I'll be fine by Tuesday, and that sort of balances it out? Does it work like that? Unfortunately, that's what our liver and kidneys are for. So the, the whole concept of, of detoxing our body and that there's something that we can put into our body that's miraculously going to draw out all of these horrible mm -hmm. things we've put into it um, is just not going to happen. So um, our liver is there to help break down the alcohol. Our kidneys are there to help filter things. Um, and they take care of it all. And that's part of the reason you tend to feel a little bit dusty the day after a big um, session. So, so the old <laughs> um, detox. Is that your body's still trying to get processing. All right, so there's two ways you go with this. And I'm sure you, Steph and Jess, went down this path. Is if you have a big weekend, you do the detoxing, you're telling me that's really a waste of time. Yeah, so I suppose, you know, in terms of maybe weight or kilojoules, if you were worried about how much you'd drunk or eaten in terms of kilojoules yeah. and then you had l much less the next day, that might even out. But in terms of actual health and your body clearing the nasty things you put into your body the day before, 
<laughs> Great to have you here. So how long are you guys here for, Steph, Jess? We've and got another two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks, yes. Two and a half weeks. Yeah, right. we've loved it. So you'll have to go out and watch uh, Heidi play football. Definitely. Vicious. We definitely will. She is vicious. <laughs> Get our vitamin D at the same time. Oh, <laughs> yeah. She, well, it's healthy bone week. She'll probably break, break a couple of the opposition bones on the Saturday. Oh, She's no, that vicious. I don't think so. It would <laughs> never be that cruel. No, of course not. Thanks for coming in, Heidi. Thank you. Jess, lovely to meet you. Thank you, you too. Likewise, Steph. Thank you. And uh, if you see Trev at the checkout, just go a bit careful on him in that basket. <laughs> we will. He's probably listening as I speak. So we're in Morgan's, oh, well, we're at Morgan Street School. We're about to deliver healthy munching and jumping activity. And um, Steph is on the floor <laughs> trying to work something out. <laughs> this is where we've come to die. Um, so pretty much we've got kids outside, it's lunchtime at the moment and we're about to start at one. I look like death. I feel like death because I have an awful deathly cold. So if you've never had experience with a smart board, you just, you just tap it. It's just great. And we don't have too many animations or anything like that going. Um, oh, my favourite slide. Um, but yeah, it's going to be easy, it's going to be fun. Um, we've got about 20 kids in this class. You excited, Steffi? Yeah. We're doing physical activity today, so you can see we're dressed for the occasion. <laughs> Not. Um, and I'm yeah, I don't know how I feel. I think this one's nicer. I think outside the projector screen, maybe like that. Yeah. There's, oh, there's Mr. Shoe gone. Don't want to get in trouble. Oh yeah, we just. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> so, to go to the golf course. Look at that dirt! We went to go to the golf course but we cannot locate it. So we're just dancing in there and yeah, it's lost again. <laughs> so what are we doing tonight, Stephanie? We're going to trivia. Yep. For charity! So we're raising money model, model. money for the uh, Ronald McDonald Foundation. Yeah. I think my eyes look really blue today. Hey, do you reckon this dirt's good for our skin? No, I don't think it should do it. It's probably very mineral, mineral rich. Orange. You look good. Hi, hair. My hair's a bit messed up though. So it's helmet, helmet hair. Okay. bike riding and vlogging at the same time you can obviously see how far I've come you know from week one when I just couldn't even vlog forward and now I can selfie vlog and as you can see I'm wearing my usual bike attire I got oh I got the grandma vest on I got the grandma sunnies on um, and this is just classic orange dirt we're just really out in the bush today we've just gone real out back you know We've been missing, we just felt like we needed a bit of outback in us, so um, just really out in nature, nothing around us. And we can see like hoof marks on the ground. Yeah, so it's all awesome. So we're about to go home and have some um, cheese, and then we're going to trivia. So, au revoir! $300, come on, it's for a brilliant course. $300 up the back there, $300, $350, $350, $350, $350. $350. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the best thing about tonight is this whipped cream. Gluten <laughs> free? 
Oh, my finger looks choky. Only 3.2 grams of carbs per 100 grams. Pretty healthy. How many? 3.2 grams of carbs per 100 grams. So even if I had all of that, that's still like 12 grams of carbs. Have all of this, I dare you to. I dare you to have all of this. The evil stepmother wants me to eat my cream. Question four. Ah, it's so cold! <laughs> We're just doing a vlog. Ah. <laughs> if you stole it, you actually stole the cream. Oh. No, she asked. I asked for it. Oh, you asked for it. And I got another one. I got a fresh one that hasn't been opened. Yeah, it's just as much. Well. Ah. Yeah, I think I want camera. Hello! Are we the right lane? We're Macca's newbies. Is anyone here? Is anyone home? <laughs> Maccas is full on. <laughs> We're pissed off the Maccas. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Come on, take your order. Holly, can I please get a... What do you want? A double quarter pounder. No, extra cheese. Extra cheese, no bun. Sorry, it was extra cheese, no bun. Yes, yep. please. And um, can I get a um, caramel sundae with double caramel, please? Do you want the fries? Are you okay, yeah. Oh, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Here you go. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? So we just had Ronald McDonald trivia. And, um, mm. like, it was all right, but all the questions were so hard. And, like, I decided I don't really like trivia. Yeah. Like, just do it for the socialness, you know? Like, it was pretty social. We, we sat on the same table as Hill FM. Hi guys, Hill FM. I don't know what that is in yeah. in like numbers. Ninety something. Ninety-seven. Oh it's ninety-six point five, it's right here. Ah. Uh, ninety-six point <laughs> five Hill FM. We start with you guys. You guys are fun. Um, I don't think they'll watch this. Okay. They might. <laughs> Maybe we can send it to them and they can play it online. Oh it's cold. So basically they had food at this charity event thing, but the only um, food I could eat was <laughs> whipped cream, which I actually, I didn't steal it from the charity she event. Asked. I went and asked if I could have one. So essentially, like I didn't steal it. But why can't you have the loaded fries? I'm carving gluten. No, but what's in the fries? That's I don't know food. if they batter them or not. Fries for Maccas? Well, you have to ask. I don't know. You can order it uh, here if you no, want. No, no, no. But I was just wondering what you thought. Um, Maccas fine. It's fine. So, like, I took an open one from the table, which I asked for, and then, because he liked me so much, he gave me another one. <laughs> so, pretty much, I've gotten all I need. Like, I, I don't care about the trivia. I don't care about the prizes. Leave really? well, out her name. Yeah. We liked um, the host. He was fun. He was a fun guy. Married, but fun. Um, and well, who else did we like? No one really. Yeah. There were other games, like you could, um, there were like games in between the trivia rounds, which was alright. Um, and you could win prizes. So there was this one game where you had to like roll your gold coin closest to the spirit. So there was like Bailey's. We're going to play that with the kids. <laughs> and there was Jim Beam. So we're like, oh, what a great idea for the kids. <laughs> So Steph wants to like get what like a smoothie smoothie <laughs> bowl or something and mm. that wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, I know. Mm. Anyway, but basically they roll the coin and whoever gets closest to it wins it. So maybe we could work that into it somehow. Um, what are we going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow's the end of the week. What is this? Kid? Can I say something? This Macca's is the best Macca's I've ever had. So Jess has been to a few. I've been to a few Macca's in my time, particularly when I'm um like drunk and <laughs> I want a double quarter pound of extra cheese, no bun after midnight. Um so basically I've been to a lot of Macca's in my time and usually especially after midnight, like they're pretty shit, you know, like They've, okay. they've already got the patty cooked and they just flop it on and they just like give you a little bit of cheese which doesn't even fit the patty, like doesn't even go over the edge, like not even nice. Came here the other night um, with my Broken Hill buddies um, and I ordered exactly what I'm ordering tonight. 
there was so much cheese on these patties that like I couldn't even see the patties. <laughs> We'll have That's how much that cheese tonight. was on them. And like the meat was juicy and like I got so full. And I usually don't really get full after a double quarter pound of extra cheese. No fun. Um, but I got so full because the patties were like plump and delicious. Orders. I'll get a burger with extra cheese. No bun. Can you take out the onion? Can you put in the Did Maccas <laughs> complain just then when I no, ordered no, a double no. quarter pound of extra cheese? No bun. Maccas did not complain. So you can order whatever you want anywhere, and you can like okay, tailor. Can we? Maybe I could have just got a bun. I could have got a double quarter, extra pounder, extra cheese, no but, no patty, extra lettuce. What do they have that's vegetarian? I don't even think they fish and fillet. <laughs> fillet of fish, no fish. <laughs> can I just have the butter? <laughs> you could get an egg and bacon muffin without, without the bacon. bacon. Mm. Actually, that could have gone down well right now. Mm. Why don't I get a stupid ice cream for? Yeah, you're an idiot. We'll just go through again. Yeah, this has been fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Let's go drive in. I can't make out if this lighting is fluttering or very unfluttering. I can't tell if I'm fuzzy this whole time. I'm far away from getting our Mackie D. Mackie D! Two dietitians. This is so against what I one believe Mackie in. D. It's not at all what, against what I believe in. It's so against uh, what I believe Why? In. Well, you're getting an ice cream, so maybe that's what you believe in. Yeah, it against, is. But it's vegetarian, so that's what you believe mm. in. Is it? Yeah. So who still thinks that ice cream from McDonald's is made from pig fat? Do you want to dispel that myth? No. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is made from Should pig fat. Should I ask them at the window? Yeah. No, I don't want to know because that will ruin my ice cream experience. I just want to have one she more ice cream. She doesn't even know. I'm sure it doesn't. So, it, does it still count if you don't know? Like, that's like being a vegetarian and like eating beef but just going like, oh, I didn't know this was from an animal. <laughs> you always put on an American accent when you do something like that. It's the only accent I know. <laughs> I can do, I can do, um, England. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Don't put the pressure on <laughs> You want a cup of tea? Steffi, that is pretty good. You want a cup of tea? That is pretty good. Can I please have a double quarter pounder, extra cheese, no bun? That's good. Okay. Let's try and turn this off. Oh, Ooh, me. Oh. We look like we're in the red light district. We like the red light district. <laughs> oh, no, we don't. Naughty. <laughs> Um, that you know because a lot of them asked about healthy snack ideas for some kids 
So we thought that we would create one and why not film it at the same time? So you guys can make it too. Yes. So we're going to make two versions of a muesli mm -hmm. bar. Yes, which is going to be vegan, egg free, dairy free, and we're going to make one version which is gluten free. And as my dad Everything would probably free. say, it would be taste free. <laughs> we're going to make it. Gonna we're going to make it taste full. Yeah. And so my version, I'll explain my version yeah. first. My version is simply for shits and giggles. Um, Beep that up. Bleeps and giggles. <laughs> and mine is going to be. It's going to have a whole lot of um, fats in it. From good coconut oil. I might even add some butter and just kill the whole dairy free thing because mine's just a fun experiment. Mm. And I'm also gonna aim to have sugar free as well um, and gluten free because I can't eat gluten. And then Steph is going to make the main deal and this the one is the that one, people will actually eat. The one that people are actually gonna eat. So, parents of children in mm -hmm. Broken Hill, you will be mm -hmm. consuming some good old Uncle Toby's. Love it. And other delicious things as well. So and if you can see, we're sponsored by Coles. We've got all the Coles brand. Coles <laughs> we brand, love Coles. Coles brand, Coles brand pick and mix. I'm not going to tell you what we do there. Coles white sugar. Coles apples. Coles cinnamon. So we love Coles. We're we Coles do. gals. So let's move on, yeah? yeah. So do you want to just list out what we have to do and we'll do yeah, it? Yeah, alright. Should we get to so, balls? Yeah, where are the balls? Alright, what do we have so, to do? So we have to start off. Well, should we explain what we've got here? So in my version, we're yeah. going to be putting some oats, some sunflower kernels as a alternative to nuts because the school here is nut free. But obviously people can choose to use nuts if they want. Um, we've got some... Jess is using the quinoa flakes for her gluten free oh, version. Off. I'll explain. We've got some chia seeds to make a chia egg. More chia seeds of the white kind. I don't know if that sounds racist. We've got some <laughs> apples. <laughs> we've got some cinnamon. Don't worry guys, I've got dark coconut oil. To balance it out. And we've got some white sugar, which we might not use as much for, but then we we're gonna also... We're gonna halve the quantity. We're gonna put in some salt as well. We're not putting in that salt. Let's well, use the real, the real deal. But a lot of people are deficient in iodine because they're not having iodized salt. And Iod. this is what you want. Yep. But this is not the best Thai tasting salt, I don't think. I'm going to use a different salt. Don't use your herb mini. No, I'm not going to use my herb mini. And I'm going to like do it a little bit. So we're going to get two bowls because we're going to have to make a chia egg. Let's, should we move this stuff out to the salt? Yeah. A chia egg? Yeah. Can I just use an egg? Yeah, you can. You make the you make the, the meaty What's it, what do I do? Non vegan just meat, let's egg it up, just one yeah. egg in there. Yeah, just Can I just add put it in my bowl? Yeah. So vitamin B twelve. And I'm pretty sure there's iron in here. If I am not wrong. B twelve, all the amino acids you can possibly think of. The most perfect food. Alright. So while Jess is cracking her eggs, I'm gonna kissing and cracking. <laughs> make the chia eggs. So chia seeds are really good. They're a good source of fat, so good source of proteins if you're vegan or vegetarian. Like I've been adding this to my meals every week, this every night this week because I've realized that Steph, I'm severely are you protein vegan deficient. Or vegetarian? I'm vegetarian. Tell the people. Yeah. Well, I would say I'm predominantly plant based, which means the majority of my diet is actually. I would say vegan. I'm plant based. <laughs> <laughs> what did I have for dinner tonight? Bone broth. But plant based. <laughs> I put it on plants. I had broccoli, cauliflower, and Brussels sprout bake. And I put a little bit of bone broth powder on it because I need my vitamins, minerals, collagen, and gelatin. Alright. So I've made my egg, uh, my what's it called? Yeah, they can't see that. Yeah, I know. Well, it's hard. It's liquid. I'm making my chia egg here. So I put a tablespoon of chia seeds and then a table, no, three tablespoons of water. And that will just soak. And um, and that will form like a, a gelatinous kind of um, liquid. A, a vegan version of an egg. Yeah, which will kind of Or you be can simply egg. just use eggs. Yeah. Free range. Whatever you feel. Or if you have your own chickens, that's the best way to go. You want the omega-3 fats to be fully present and shining. Alright, so I've used two eggs, by the way. Just as you need two eggs. And I'm whisking them up. I don't know what I'm supposed to. Do, yeah, no, that's good. So we put them aside. We've put them aside for the moment. And we are going to then grab um, the sunflower seeds that we need. Should we bring it down? No, let's just take it. Can we even measure? Specific. But, so I'm just going to put in a third. 
And instead of sunflower, what are they? Are they sunflower seeds? Yeah. Instead of sunflower seeds, I'm going to put in LSA. So in my version, I've got linseed, sunflower seeds, and almond meal. So not all that different, but there's some almonds in there. And we can't take these to the school because it's a nut preschool. So. Yeah. so I'm going to put in about half a cup of oats. Now, instead of oats, because oats are contaminated with gluten, they actually don't have gluten present. It's just contamination. So what I'm going to use is a mix of quinoa flakes and coconut flour and psyllium husk powder. So that's going to form my Uncle Toby's oats. And this oh my gosh, the shelf is the thing to fill oh, out. And this is gluten free. So I don't know what it's going to turn out like. Um, but I mean, quinoa flakes are very similar to oats if anyone's actually tried those before. So the consistency is very much the same. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going right. to do... Psh, I'm going to do my first. I'm doing a quarter cup of quinoa flakes. Quarter cup. And then... Do you want any quinoa flakes, Jeff? No, not yet. And then I also want a quarter cup of... You know what? I'm going to do one tablespoon of psyllium husk. Because if you go overboard with the Ooh, psyllium yeah, husk, yeah, no. it gets way too gelatinous. And, and also you can get really good bowel movements. It's got a laxative effect because it um, absorbs water. So I'm just going to put in one heaped tablespoon, which I'm going to measure without a spoon because I see the getting one. And I'm just going to use a quarter cup of coconut flour. Alright, so I've got my sunflower seeds and my oats in this container. So I'm going to just brown them up now into a flour. So that's the Nutri-Board, is it? Yeah, is it? I think there's any flour going on here. I don't, mind. I don't think it matters if it's a bit chunky. Like, I reckon chunky like is good, especially for a meatball. Chunky rice? I mean, what am I talking about? Chunky meatball. So we've got that. Um, I'm going to put in So, 
So I'm going to grab some coconut oil. You can use any type of fat if you want. You could use an olive oil or butter, whatever you want to use. We're just using coconut oil because that's what we've got. Oh, nearly cracked the jar. So we're going to put in about 90, 90 grams, which I don't really know what that is, but I'm just going to chuck in a couple of tablespoons, I think. And I'll chuck it in the, to the microwave to melt. Okay, so what I'm doing is I just want to liquefy my apple a bit because I don't want it as chunky. I want it to be like a puree. So this is not peanut butter, even though it says it on the jar. I've actually got coconut milk in here. So that's coconut canned milk. Or cream? milk. Huh. It was cheaper. <laughs> so um, I got canned coconut milk. Nothing else added. It's just canned coconut fat, basically, and water. And I'm just using it to liquefy my apples. Now, am I, step, am I just mixing it in with my mixture? Yeah, that's what I did. Oh, that looks so smooth and creamy and delicious. Wait, are you, gonna, oh, you just poured it out. Did I? Yes. <laughs> Shit. Dude, you need is look that after the... Pour out hoops? You need to look after the carpet. Seriously, you're ruining it. Oh, yeah, got some chocolate. Right, look at that, though. Ew. Cup or half a cup of the oats. Oh, Wait, the rest? Oh, so yeah. I have to put more in mine. So. Yeah. So I've added more oats. Oh, I'm nearly out of oats. Wait, how much coconut oil did you put in? I just put in, well, I put in 90 grams roughly. But I What's in the microwave? Yeah, that's my coconut oil melting. Do I put my eggs in yet? Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh, that's really hot. Okay, so I've got my coconut oil there. I've got my um, my chia egg, which now looks really cool. Oh, so what sort of, oh, that does look cool. Don't tip it out. <laughs> Yum. All right, so I've got that. I've got that. Um, I'm gonna grab my sugar. What sort of consistency here. should we have? Um, I don't know. I think it's going to be pretty thick because we're making a muesli bar. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of sugar. So it says 90 grams. This is a kilo. Can I so use this, please? I want a tenth. Don't know what that means, but I'm just gonna add in a quarter of a cup to start with. We don't want too much sugar in this. We'll have the sweetness of the apples and. Um, yeah, and obviously we're trying to make a recipe for parents that is good for kids. Yeah, so maybe we should have explained that. I did. Oh, did we? Yeah. That, so we're teaching the kids yeah. about healthy eating and nutrition and exercise and just being an all-around healthy person. And um, these are their parents now. So there's no kids here. And what we're going to do is we're going to present a talk to them. We're going to give them recipes. We're going to teach them a little bit. Mm -hmm. And um, we want to actually make it interactive. So we're going to have this delicious vlog for them to uh, taste. Yeah. So I just added in the rest of my oats. Um, just a little bit of sprinkle of cinnamon. Do you want to do the cinnamon challenge on camera? I don't. But you can do it. Nah, because I'll think I'm going to die. Yeah. I'll call ED. <laughs> so I've just Before added in the anything. cinnamon. That looks really good. How much cinnamon do you reckon? And I added in the sugar. I forgot to say that. I just put a good sprinkle on. And then I think I'll add in the... Let's have a taste of this. Mm. Mm. It tastes nice. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. Maybe you should hold up like a bit of a... So they can see. The oh, that actually tastes really good. It's like got a good flavour from the from the sesame. No, what did we put in? Sunflower seeds. That's right. No, I'm gonna put in the vegan egg now. So just pop that in. Oh. So is the coconut oil supposed to be 100% melted? Well, it doesn't say that because they're saying coconut butter, but I just thought I'm just gonna chuck in some of that. So you've put in sugar. Yeah. So I might put in a little bit of stevia, yeah, because I think we need some sort of sweetness, because yeah. all the ingredients are very bitter. Yeah. Um. So stevia is extremely sweet, guys. So we this... ruined a custard last week with it. Oh, we did many things to that custard, which was awful. But so basically, I've got this stevia from Coles, and I think it is a blend of stevia and erythritol. But you can get pure stevia; it's in a liquid form. That is also very for sweet. For baking. It's, yes, the liquid is very sweet, so it's very easy to go over the top. For baking, I'm going to use the crystallized form because it's better. And um, it like goes up into your airways. Oh, no. Um, so I'm going to use half. I've already put in half a teaspoon. I'm going to put in another half a teaspoon. I'm going to put in three half teaspoons. So that equals one and a half <laughs> teaspoons. And like literally, I just breathe normally then and I got like, I reckon at least like one eighth of that. 
Whoa, I can still taste it in the air. All right, so I added in the, the chia egg and um, what was the other thing that I added in? Uh, Cinnamon. And then a little bit of coconut oil. And I think I'm just going to add in a sprinkle of salt because you know how that whole salted, salted caramel thing's in? Even though this isn't salted caramel, but like Well, caramel salted. is sugar. So yeah. you put in sugar and you put in salt. So it's yeah. basically salted caramel. So, yeah. Yeah, we've got salted caramel and apple better than that. things. All right. So we've got a good mixture here. I'm not sure how this is actually going to bake, but we'll see. We'll see. So that's my mixture done. All right. So... Mm. So I'm a bit apprehensive as to like how mine's going to taste because um, obviously my, my mixture tastes so good. Steph has followed a recipe and then I've tweaked the recipe so that it's gluten free and sugar free which I'm sure many people know can end out in disaster more times than it ends out good. Um, but the thing is, guys, you just have to experiment, which is what we're doing today, yep. essentially. Like, we've never cooked this before. I could eat it in We so have good. never cooked this before. We don't know what we're doing. Mine, to be honest, looks like it could be made into cookies or something. Do you reckon? I don't even know what to do. Mine might need a bit more coconut milk. Mm. I reckon coconut milk to make it a bit more gluggy, because what I want to do is try and copy the consistency of Steph's looks like rubbish but I'm gonna copy that um, so mine was really hard so as you can see mine's quite hard and like it's all forming like mounds it kind of looks a bit like glue or like if you've um if you've made porridge and you just like haven't put in enough milk or something and then oh my god it's just getting worse yeah it is all right That's I'm okay, just gonna put that in here I'm just gonna spread some coconut oil oh, on it error that it doesn't stick with all of my mix into the pan i think this is going to turn out more of a cake than a muesli bar but that's all right we'll see how it goes and we're just going to pop it in the oven for let's have a look 20 minutes or 30 till it's golden brown 20 minutes perfect and i'm going to do the same One second. <laughs>
Yeah. So...